All right, I'm gonna get it going. Hello, hello. What day is it? Thursday? I made it almost a Friday. I don't normally stream on Thursdays, but I didn't have a whole lot going on. I got all my video stuff that I wanted to get done yesterday. Uh, a lot of video stuff is waiting until next week. Season 5, I like to do a lot of my Season 5 content during, like, the seasons, you know, with the new seasons. But, obviously, like, money-making, stuff like that, I can kind of do prior. Um, but I have a lot of build videos. Like, Season 5 is going to be a lot of build videos from me. I'm going to have a lot of fun making new builds with the new artifacts. Um, I need to decide if I'm going to work on my... Probably work on my main today. We'll see. At least do some lemon and sugar runs and stuff like that. Um, maybe some OPRs, we'll see, but I really should be doing OPRs on EU just to try to get, uh, some artifacts on that one, but it's also not, like, the end of the world. That one's kind of secondary, so. But let me, uh, let me get logged in for the day. See if we made money. I sold a bunch of the sugar yesterday. Sugar went back up to 10 bucks. I posted a bunch last night and sold... When I logged off, I had sold like 300 sugar at just around 10 bucks a pop. So it was like 3k. So not like crazy money, but sugar obviously is really easy for me to farm. And then me, Cat, and Bo ended up doing a variety of stuff last night. We did uh, mutated labs. We did... Portals, loot runs, OPR. So, a little more variety. A lot of times we just kind of get stuck in the same, like, well, let's just do OPRs, but I'm trying to branch out, do more uh, PVE stuff, because we all need money. We all need money, so it's like, well, I enjoy doing that stuff, so start farming some more artifacts too, because I have, I don't have all the artifacts. Hold on just a sec. There's something on my mouse button. Um, I don't have all the artifacts yet, but I also don't normally go for the artifacts until I want it, or if I just happen to get it. But I still need to figure out with this build. I was just, I've been thinking on it. So I have the keen awareness. I'm highly considering changing that over to, um, what you call it? Uh, purifying heart. I'm really considering puri purifying heart. Wait, what? The heck is that for? Um. Tonic of what? Say, so this was an old one, wasn't it? So, I'm gonna stockpile them, because if they end up making that uh, used for something else, then I'll have them. All set to go. Um, Mortal Empowerment. We can see if some of that stuff's selling. I might start running Mortal Empowerment on my, uh, uh, on my Dex builds. Which one was it? Wait, what? Car, Carthago. Which one was it that, uh, the Zebulons used to be worth a lot? That's dropped. Now I think it's just the uh, Tonic of Tyrannus. Tonic of Tyrannus. And those have even dropped in price. I've got a bunch of those. That's for Shirking Heels. I have a whole bunch. It's more empowerment better than Invigorate Punishment. It's better if you can get the kills. So like uh, with builds like, like bow builds or musket builds, it works really well. Um, just because you can get those like finishing shots. So I would say like, I might see a few melees using it, but for melee, usually invigorated punishments better. And then for like dex users, mortal empowerment's usually better. 
but it also depends on the player and the build and all that too. Like I used to be a really big fan of Invigorated Punishment and then it got nerfed so I stopped using it quite as much, but I might start putting together some PvP specific jewelry that I can swap out with some of my builds, but like artifacts I probably won't put PvP specific perks on except for Scorpion Sting I do. Just because penetrating backstab is so strong and you can't put rogue on it, so. A 30 kills and OPR, nice. Very nice. I usually can only do big numbers like that when I'm like hard playing musket and stuff. But that's because musket's like one of my better builds, you know? We all have those builds that we're better at and kind of feel good builds, you know? Wait, let's see. Did I? Uh, I need to check and see if my oh, sugar is so old. Oh, three to three. So that's fine. I sell like three k worth of sugar then. Uh, lemon prices. I mean, lemons dropped a bunch. I'm assuming someone bought out the market, so I posted a bunch, hoping that maybe someone would buy more. But yeah, price dropped again. So we're gonna pull the lemons off the market. And we'll pull the sugar off the market as well for now. Stockpile it. I mean, I could probably sell lemons. Should we sell lemons? Yeah, let's post what we have for lemons. And then farm some more up. So maybe sell at 22.50. We'll sell 100 of them. Alright, how many uh, tokens do I have? Okay, alright. Gotta do some faction quests. Get that out of the way. I've just really been liking this build. I'm just really nervous that next season it's gonna... It's gonna be rough. Musket Abyss. I've ran Musket Abyss a little bit. It's okay. Um, the trouble is, is like you want to keep all your damage in your musket, right? So you end up not running as much in. So your your abyss doesn't do as much. But it's not bad. I mean, it gives you decent mobility. I I essentially ran the exact build that I have on right now, as far as the abyss itself. I'd run charge, reap, and then execute. And like, I, I got kills and stuff with it, um, but it definitely, definitely like is not the best secondary. It's just kind of like a for fun type of a deal for me at least. But it's not bad. I mean, I ran a lot of different secondaries with musket and had a lot of fun. So it just kind of depends on what you want to play. Like, as far as just overall most damage output with, like, you know, a musket, especially if you're going, like, putting all your damage into, like, that second shot, you know? Um, like, life taker is just really, really hard to beat. If you land a powder burn with your life, or with your musket, then you apply, you know, a single stack of disintegrate, you apply the powder burn, you get all of your empowerments up on your musket, and then you load up, you dodge reload into a power shot, and then that second shot is what does all the damage. Um, so like Life Taker's the best for that that I found. I've tried Finisher. The bleed with Finisher just isn't great. Um, it's not as consistent with Musket. So just from a consistency standpoint, I've found that you're just gonna get more out of Life Taker. But if you get pushed and you have Life Taker with a Musket, it kinda sucks, because you don't really have an escape. Like, I'll run Orb, I'll run Orb, Tether, and Circle, personally, but a lot of people will run Scream just to get the disease and all that, and Scream is, like, a really, really good option. I just like having the Circle on top of it, because then that's an extra empowerment that I don't have to, like, necessarily stack by hitting someone. So, it just kind of depends. There's different ways you can build Musket to have a lot of fun with it. Um, I 
for like invasions, I do musket bow and I just use the bow for all the dots and then I just apply all my dots with the bow and then I just swap to musket, go into shooter stance and all of that. But I won't use shooter stance in PVP. I won't do it. I've killed too many people with my musket when they're sitting in shooter stance because I know how easy it is to do it. It's really, really easy to kill someone when they're stuck in shooter stance. If they if they don't see you, you can just, you can two tap a lot of people with the and even if they don't die, they're going to be hurting real bad. So. I like Musket Pestilence is fantastic. Uh, musket Life Taker, like I said. Musket Scorpion Sting. Musket Finisher works fine. It's just uh, if you're looking for like most damage output, I would go Life Taker. But if you want to go with a secondary that has better DPS, then Finisher is still really good. But Musket Abyss isn't bad. It's not the best, but it's not terrible. Um, Musket Ice Gauntlet. Musket, Di Musket Deep Freeze is actually really good. I've ran that. That's a fun one. Um, I used to run Musket with my uh, Ice all the time. That was That was my main Musket build, actually, a long time ago. Yeah, so Musket Life Taker, um, the big thing is positioning. It's the biggest thing and most important thing when you're running Life Taker with Musket. Uh, it is literally just positioning yourself appropriately. So if there's a lot of assassins, like I'll, it sounds weird, but I'll play like just on the backside of a clump sometimes. And then just kind of wait for those assassins to jump my healers. And then I act as appeal for the healers. Because you know the assassins usually are running lower con. Not always, but a lot of times they're running lower con compared to other people. And so if you kind of play in front of your healers, but behind all of your front line and everything, kind of like where you would play like if you were a mage, you know what I mean? If you weren't up top, um, you kind of... I, I play positioning wise exactly how I would a mage, essentially. And so if you play it like that, and play your musket build as if you're like a mage almost as far as your positioning goes it allows you to really peel for backline it allows for you to not get jumped if you do get jumped then they're in a pickle because they're in between your teammates and then you have a healer right behind you that hopefully is able to heal you on top of that so positioning is absolutely key when it comes to musket especially musket life taker musket with other stuff like you can kind of get away with it just because you might be able to peel for yourself but usually for musket in general that's for how i'm playing it is it's gonna look very similar to like when i play mage and maybe well i should say i do play up top a little bit more often as a musket than i do as a mage which i mean mages are really good for pushing people off the top on an outpost but i oftentimes will try to do that while i'm down low as well or I'll push up top if we don't have anyone else doing it. So it just depends. Hey, Riddler. But I can play some musket today. I haven't played musket in a while. Like, I haven't played it heavily in a while. So I wouldn't mind playing it today. I don't have any consumables going. Actually, it'd be a good time to just slap it on. Why not? Got me talking about it. Gets me excited to play it. I know I'm running into a tree. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know what I'm doing there. There we go. Think they're going to increase gear score this year? Ah, there's a chance they do. I don't know for sure, to be honest. 150 in is must for musk players. Yeah, essentially. You, you want that extra elemental damage. Um, I'm not going to go... I'm not going to go life taker just because I don't want to respec right now. Um... Yeah, 150, 150 int, uh, because it splits, because it's a split weapon, you know what I mean? Unlike bow, well, even with bow, I run 150 int. 
Um, but the main reason why I run 150 in is because when I run bow, I'm using uh, Boltcaster. So for Boltcaster, even then I've had people say, well, why don't you just do full decks? And it's like, well, it's Boltcaster. 100% of that damage is elemental. So running 150, you're increasing 100% of your damage by 10%. So for the people who run, you know, max dexterity with Boltcaster, I do think that they're actually missing out on a lot of damage, um, mainly because once you start hitting that like 300 to 350 attribute, it starts to drop off how much of a bonus damage you're getting. So those who run that high a dex with Boltcaster are losing damage. With Musket, like 150 has always been the go-to. I've ran 200. Um, the times that I actually run 200 or even 250 int, if I go heavier int with my uh, musket build, it's when I'm running Ice Gauntlet with it. Because then you can run Pylon, Shower, Ice Storm, like my normal Ice Gauntlet uh, build. Or you could do, you know, something else. But the nice thing with Pylon is then they need to decide, are they going to go after your Pylon? Are they going to go after you? If they go after you, are they going to go through the Ice Shower? Are they going to go around it? Like you end up forcing the other... You essentially are forcing your enemy to decide what are they going to focus. Pylon, you rotate around you, go through the ice. Like there's a lot of decisions that have to be made. And so you can kind of catch them off guard because a lot of people don't expect a musket to all of a sudden start throwing out ice abilities, you know. So ice gauntlet can be extremely good with musket if played right. Please don't. Thank you. Ow, you still did it though. Can we not? But favorite move is just that into that. Very, very fast and easy damage. Because if you hit him, if you hit him with the Sundering Javelin like that, and then especially with Scorpion Sting, uh, even though like you don't get the empowerment, like with uh, you know like Finisher or like a Life Taker applying the Disintegrate, you're at least getting the Sundering on them plus a CC. So like right there, that was a 9K, you know, 9K power shot. I don't even have bonus damage against this enemy type. Well, I guess technically no, the thrust does, doesn't it? Ow. That's another thing too, which I, I think I put it in my musket video, but one way to not get yourself caught, as far as like, caught in a reload, because that's one of the big issues, is like, you know, you shoot and then you're stuck reloading if you don't have your dodge, re you know, dodge roll. So if you shoot and then swap weapons into a dodge, you just disregard the reload altogether, and then when you switch back, now you've got your reloaded, your reloaded shot. So it's really nice. Are they toast better than purifying toast? Uh, mm, yes and no. It, it's tough. There, I I like both perks to be honest. I before healthy toast was a thing. Uh, I was strictly purifying toast. So my my main earring that I would run was refreshing toast, nimble, and purifying toast. Those were the three perks that I would always have on my on my earrings. I'd always try to get those. But then they started adding in a lot of the other perks and stuff, and obviously, like, artifacts, so it, it you know, changes things. Musket's so much fun, though. I think right now I have Endless Thirst on this one. I think that's what I'm running, just because a lot of times I don't want to rely on the healers. Yeah. And then I put Refreshing Toast on, which part of me thinks that maybe I should have gone with Nimble, but the, the Refreshing Toast at least cuts down on the, on the cooldown, uh, you know, extension from the Thirst. So instead of a 25% uh, 
increase in cooldown, it's only a 15% increase in cooldown. So, I like the refreshing toast. I think you could get away with nimble just fine with it though too. Whoops. the heck just hit me? But for invasions, musket is my favorite. Like, invasions with musket is just so much fun. And then I just, like, if I'm not on the back side, which I actually on musket, a lot of times I prefer the front, uh, then I just roam. Like, if they don't care, like, if they're just like, you know, play here, but kind of do whatever, like, I'll just roam. Grab some haste pots and just start roaming with, uh, with a musket. And a lot of times I'll do bow, like I said, so I can have more dots. Apply all those dots, just start shooting. Then by the time you burn through all of your musket cooldowns, your shooter stance and all that, usually you have all your bow abilities back. And then your dots are over. So I need to I need to put that build together over on EU because I'm gonna do more invasions on EU than I am on on NA. So that's that's a whole deal that I gotta put together. I'll probably do that for my next build on EU, honestly, because I do want to start doing those because I can do invasions on stream then, unless I start streaming at night, which I've thought about. Okay, I thought you were gonna like, you know, die to dots, but I guess not. I don't really know why I just started running a scare run. It's just like, I don't know. This was, I just started doing it. I just, I need scarabs, I guess. I think I only have 10. That was such a weak toss. I wasn't gonna hit anything. My bad. For me, scarabs are crafting. So on my main, I'll keep them, and then on my EU one, I'll uh, I'll sell them. How's merge? Uh, I mean, I haven't played a whole lot to be honest. Uh, I didn't play too much yesterday. I did, I did some video stuff, I did some recording and stuff like that yesterday. I still have to do some editing, but I can do that tonight. I'm not too worried about it. So I just need to do some editing. It's gonna be another, another money-making video. Uh, more involved with like how I go about crafting, uh, crafting for gold and stuff. So it kind of just explains how I look at it, how I look at the market on each individual server that I might be crafting on or interested in. Ooh, there's a scarab. So it'll be a good video. Like if you if you want to craft for for money and figure out what to craft or what's best to craft on your server, it's a good video for that. Cuz every server is going to be a little different on what's uh actually selling and stuff. But merge seems fine. I mean, it's it's active, you know. I haven't looked at the exact numbers, but just Simply seeing people, it's, you know, fairly active, so. Why don't you guys just kill this thing? I think merges overall were just like good for a lot of servers, you know? 
I mean, the main downside is just the people who are merging into other servers, then obviously those companies lose those territories and stuff, but it's more competition on those servers for wars, hopefully. But as many of you know, I'm not much of a war person. Maybe someday. Again, if someone if someone came to me and was like, hey, we don't necessarily need you to join the company, but if you want to participate in some wars, go for it. Ooh, tran Ooh, look at that. That was a juicy chest. Oh my gosh. War loggers will be man. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it. It's understandable, but at the same time, it's just like how many of those companies have been owning territories for however long, and now it's going to be actual, you know, competition to get them. So the competition side of it is hopefully good, but we all know wars are a finicky subject for many. But yeah, I mean, I, I for me, it's just like I'd want to do wars if someone needed the help and stuff, but not necessarily, like, devote a whole bunch of time to practicing and, and this stuff, you know. I can use the builds that I currently have, sure. But I'm not going out of my way for them. Not, not at the moment. Got two scarabs so far? That's not bad. Oh, that's why I went up there. I wasn't even... Oh my gosh. Whatever. I went up there to do my faction quest. Not to start a scarab run. But because I went to the starting point of the scarab run, it was so natural for me to just start running the loot instead of going and doing my quest. So that's why we went over there. Great. Doesn't surprise me, though. Uh, I guess we'll see what we got. Uh, okay. Yeah, gear score-wise, none of this is going to be worth it, really. See, like, right now I'm not running... This is the ring that I'm running for my musket build, and I should probably start running Mortal Empowerment or something with uh, PvP specifically, at least. Did I put luck gear on? No. I don't do luck gear at all. I do not. Luck luck should not affect scarab drops, at least in the past, that's what they've said. I can't prove it right or wrong, but in general, no, I don't use luck. I don't believe in luck. I have tried I've tested it. I've talked to other people. Some people believe in it. It's one of those things where like if it mentally makes you feel better having the luck and you feel like you're getting more, like wear it. It's not going to hurt you in that sense. Um, it potentially could hurt you if you're farming for craft mods, though. That much, I'm not sure, because it says that they raise the ceiling and, you know, and everything. So I think your chances of actually getting, like, craft mods could be lower with with a ton of luck. I'm not sure, though. So don't, don't, don't quote me on that, but I don't wear it. I don't use it. Riddler, you got eight scarabs. Oh my gosh. That's insane. I think the most I've gotten uh, is probably like six. Again, no luck. There will come a day where I'll say, hey, I'm going to test luck again and try it. And you guys need to tell me no. Because I guarantee you I'm going to try to spend money on it. And it's just not going to be worth it. I'm going to lose money. But that day hopefully won't come for a while. It doesn't affect... So the way luck works, though, is it increases the ceiling for the loot table, right? So your chances of getting that stuff. So being that it's increasing your chances for some of the higher tier, there's a very good chance that that luck is actually lowering your chances. Because it's increasing your chances for other stuff, it's potentially lowering your chances for the like lower tier stuff like craft mods. You get what I'm saying? So even though it doesn't directly affect the craft mod drop itself, it's increasing the chance of other stuff dropping, which essentially is lowering your chance of the craft mods in a way. So uh, that's that's the way I've looked at it. Again, luck is all up to you if you want to use it or not. Involved, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome.
But like if you're if you're like as far as harvesting luck, all that, like make sure if you're trying to go for harvesting stuff, mining, anything like that, for sure wear your luck uh harvesting gear or logging gear or whatever, because that for sure makes a difference. Yeah, any of the any of the harvesting luck gear is one hundred percent worth it. <sighs> That we got taboo on both both platforms now let's go they said that luck doesn't work on artifact drops but who knows i can't 100 percent say you know what i mean depends on what you're looking for him yeah like trophy mats and stuff and like named gear uh they did say it affects named gear but i don't believe it actually affects artifacts from my understanding. No, you're you're good, Tapu. It's just funny. Cause like for a while I didn't know that it was you on the two, like a long time ago, so. But I'm pretty sure they said uh and, and again, this is, this is just what I'm thinking what I heard, but I thought they had said that uh, luck does not affect the artifact drops, but it does affect uh, like named items like the purple named stuff, you know, well, I guess it doesn't have to be purple, but typically it is Not I knew I didn't know for a while I mean, I've known I've known for a bit now, but I didn't know for the longest time Because I think there were a couple times you talked on both and I just didn't think anything of it I just thought it was two different people. You know what I mean? I also know by now I'm fairly oblivious to a lot of things as well. But no, you're good. But yeah, I mean, as far as luck goes, it, it's totally up to you. I mean, I've I've pulled so when when trophy mats. Remember when trophy mats were like the thing everyone wanted them. That's what you really needed to get. Um. You know, like pulling precision armoring tools and all that was just like the the way to get your money. Like I, I would definitely try it and then I would take it off and then I'd start pulling like trophy mats. It was the stupidest thing. It made me so frustrated. There's a reason why I have a very love-hate relationship with uh, luck. More hate than love at this point, but yeah. You're on the goldfish grind? Yeah. I mean, that's the ultimate, right? It's the ultimate rare, rare item to pull at this point, still. Resource gear and trophies. Yeah, it makes a massive difference, doesn't it? What does goldfish do? It's like the rarest item in the game to pull. Yeah, involved. We were just talking about how like just like loot or uh, harvesting luck and stuff or gathering luck is for sure worth it. Loot luck. It really depends on who you talk to. However much I want to believe in luck, um, there's just been too many times where it's just not made any form of any difference for me because I've still pulled what I wanted. So it is what it is. Again, it's one of those things where it's like, I think if if you believe in it, it works. If you don't believe in it, it doesn't work. Just because I don't wear it doesn't mean you guys shouldn't try it. All of a sudden, you guys are saying you're pulling a whole bunch of stuff. Wearing your loot luck. I might. That's what usually gets me into trouble if someone's like convincing me that they're getting all this good loot and then I try it and I get a whole bunch of obsidian flux and sandpaper and everything else. Oh, it didn't, it didn't pop up my power shot. I didn't time that right. I hit power shot too early. Yeah, I mean, trophy trophy mats were, like, the way to go. I mean, if you wanted to make money fast, you just pull a precision armoring tool and you're, you're set, you know? You made your week's worth of money. I think the most I sold one for back in the day was, like, 
I don't know, 60, 70 K. Like it was stupid how expensive they were. And then eventually the time came where I needed them. But I think armoring was the last thing that I got leveled for crafting. And I went from 150 to 200 only using scraps. I've got a short of it. It was good. I was, I was very happy with that. Ooh, three scarabs today. I'll take that. Yeah, trophy mats are definitely affected by luck. Well, so they say. Again, I've pulled more without luck, but also I've ran more runs without luck. It's just when you run like two or three full chest runs with luck gear and you don't pull anything worthwhile, it's a little, uh, yeah, it's a little rough. So bad swapping trophies on. I, well, I'm cheap. I don't have ultimate trophies. I've had multiple times where I can afford it and I just don't do it. I just force myself to be a little less lazy and swap trophies. One more scarab after 370 drops or so. So yeah, luck for scarabs wouldn't be worth it at that point then, huh? The combat trophies are nice because now you can actually craft them. You know what I mean? Like they, they made it so now there is a kind of a pity system in a way. So I like that they made that change. I think that was good. I just, I don't even have major combat trophies to be honest. I just never bothered. There's this, we all have certain things in this game, you know, that you're just like, I don't really want to do that. And you don't want to force yourself to do it because you know you're not going to enjoy it. And like combat trophy farming was one of those things for me. I have enough though. I've actually pulled combat trophies a couple times and the prices were so high that I just sold them. I think I've, pu I've pulled one human idol. I pulled multiple of the digits, but the digits nowadays don't sell for much. I've pulled the lost seal once or twice, but those were going for a lot at the time, so I sold them. All right, so we got all those, we got all that. I wouldn't mind a chest run today. Um, I wouldn't mind a, is there actually a wall run? I saw one X for wall. There's so many more companies recruiting now because of the merge though. It's great. Yeah, I knew a lot of people who had the major combat trophies and like talking to them made me not want to farm them even more. Cause they're just like, yeah, I sat there. I worked remote and sat there for like six days, finally got one. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> like, I, I get it if you work remote and like you're just doing your job and then you kill the thing and then work some more. Like, it's probably a lot easier that way because you just don't think about it. But man, I, I don't think I could do that. I have to be doing various things. I have to have all major trophies this thing. Hey, I mean, the collection standpoint gives you something to work towards. Progression. So much better feels rewarding. Yeah, I mean, the fact that like you have some form of a pity system for a combat trophy is super nice. Hey, Llama. I'm doing good. It's Thursday and I'm live. I'm not usually live on Thursdays, so it's nice seeing you guys here today. Thanks for stopping in, everyone. Season five's coming up. Let's go. Luck trophies. Luck trophies are still the most expensive of the trophies, I think, though, right? On most servers, at least. Say the date? Yeah, it's the second. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Enjoy the ultimate combat trophies. See, for me, I do the crafting trophies. I like crafting a lot, so I end up, uh, I'd probably do those first. 
personally. Those are the ones that like I hate going around and doing, but I do the most, so it is what it is. Same day you go on another trip? Oh no. Well, the seasons are long enough though. You'll have plenty of time to catch up on it. I put too many different builds together and spend all my money on other stuff. But what's the point in having money in, in a game like this if you're not going to spend it? This is actually good doing some PvE with Musket. Get a little, little, little warm up in. Farming for lemons right now. The nature damage does so much. It's crazy. Nothing in this one isn't there. Yeah. Yeah, the cost is crazy. I mean, it does give give you something to work towards, but it is pretty expensive. They probably could have done like, I don't know. They probably could have done what, 25K? To make it the same cost as an Azoth Inductor. What the heck was that one? Accelerating traps, and what was this? Burdening Smite, okay. Burdening Smite's actually kind of legit. I've been hit with it multiple times, and it's crazy. It, it really sucks. Like, it sucks when you get hit by it. These head on out. Hopefully, we can get some lemons. Sure, better at range. I mean, so I'm I'm not very good at bow, right? Like I'm I'm not a good bow player. If you want to feel like you're a good bow player, just run a full dot build. That's what I do. Makes me feel a lot better about myself because I don't have to directly hit someone, you know? Musket I'm much more confident in, but with a bow, no. I'm I'm not I'm not confident in it. There's times where I do well, but there's more times that I don't. Still haven't gotten a hardened crystal. Uh, so I I pulled my last one over in uh what was it, Ebon Scale? I think I was either doing an Imperial run or I was doing a Sugar run. And then you can also pull them here in Weaver's Fen. So for my Sugar and my Lemon run, uh, both those territories have a chance of dropping it. So I'm trying to run those two runs a lot more. Musket can be, so I would say this, Musket at a certain range is easier. Once you get to longer range, it's it's like muskets really tough at a certain range because you can't zoom in or anything anymore. So for me, like it just gets to that point where it's like I can shoot, shoot, shoot. And then they get to that range where it's just like I can't lead the shot and just hope like you kind of have to hope that they walk into it. At least with like a bow build, depending on what your bow build is, you can have certain AOE abilities that will still hurt them and cause them to at least like pot up or, you know, use a cooldown or something. It just kind of depends.
But it's it, like I know some people who are a lot better with bow than they are with musket, though. You know what I mean? So I would say like try both of them and just see what like fits you better. This point, I don't even want them anymore. <laughs> yeah, stupid heart and crystal. I don't even want you. Even if I pull you, I'm just gonna throw you on the ground. <laughs> just chuck it on the ground out of spite. Like, stupid, stupid craft mod. But then it's like, well, maybe you take the money. It's pretty easy payday if you do pull one. Seven K, seven K headshot without uh, any empowerment stacks. I'll take that. Goes with well with musket. There's a lot that goes well with musket. Uh, it just depends on like what you want for the build. So like if you are the type of musket player who wants to just sit back and not really like sit in a position where you're not going to get pushed, or like your likelihood of getting pushed is a lot lower. I'd run Life Taker just because like your damage output from it is kind of nuts. Um, otherwise, like I like running Scorpion Sting a lot with it. You can run Rapier. You can run Ice Gauntlet. Fire Staff doesn't work as well because essentially, like the way I will run my musket is I play musket almost like it's a Fire Staff in a way. So like instead of a Pillar of Fire, I'm hitting them with a you know Power Shot or something. So I don't normally run it with Fire Staff, you can. Um, otherwise, Pestilence is super good with it because then you apply the poison stacks with it as well. So you you have tons of options with Musket. It's, it's a really nice weapon because it scales with Dex and Int. You use four times Nimble Coat. Ooh, a Nimble Coat light. User, I, I love Nimble Coat for my healing build. I use it all the time. And then when I run Scorpion Sting with my healing build in it, it's just, it's stupid how fast you get the cooldowns back. Nimble Coat with a spear is, is dumb. Especially, and if you have the four stacks on top, obviously. But yeah, I could imagine with bow, you can probably get those cooldowns back right away and just like continually keep using abilities with your bow. Maybe I'll try that with my uh, bolt caster build sometime. See how I like it. The funny thing is, is I don't even use, uh, I don't use an armor artifact with this build right now. I do not even use one with this build at the moment. I just run five stacks of uh, harnessing. And then my boots do have nullifying oblivion since this build was initially intended to be used with uh, life taker and I just leave it. I'll work on the build next season. We'll get it more straightened out. Nimble code is one of the artifacts that you're going to see people kind of go two ways. Either they love it or they hate it. Um, I've talked to some people who just like think it's not useful at all. Whereas in like for me, it's huge. Like me and Bo have tested our two healing builds because we're very similar healers. And with the cooldown reduction, when we both have like, you know, let's say we both have life staff with uh, Scorpion Sting, I can keep him CC'd way longer because I get my cooldowns back just like way, way faster. So when we've compared it to each other, um, like to two similar builds, it's very noticeable. And especially for a healer, Cooldown reduction is huge, you know, so being able to get essentially six stacks of refreshing uh, is really, really good. But there's some people who think that you need more defense as opposed to cooldown reduction. So it, it kind of depends on the person. Oh, use it with Void Gauntlet builds too? The main reason, well, I guess it depends on the Void Gauntlet build. Some some weapons I don't care as much to run it with just because you get the cooldowns back on those weapons quicker. Like my current Void Blade build that I'm running with Abyss, uh, I have it working off of cooldown reduction with the crits and everything. So essentially what I'll do is I'll scream, circle, 
burn through my abyss abilities and then switch back to void blade and then start swinging and then I can get my circle and my screen back really quickly. But I could imagine if you're running if you're running it with nimble it's probably nuts. Does anyone use Featherite? Featherite's very, very popular. A lot of healers will run that instead of doing uh, Nimble. And it's e it's easier to farm up, too. And then Life Staff. <laughs> well, I mean, Void with Life Staff. But I, I know there's a lot of healers who will run Featherlight with their Life Staff builds because they want the extra, you know, extra armor and stuff that they can apply elsewhere. So just just kind of depends on the player though. I don't even I don't even own featherweight because I I knew I wasn't gonna be using it for my builds, uh, so I didn't actually bother farming it. Maybe I should farm it today. Nimble with splash. I think nimble is like essential for splash of light builds. To be honest. Oh, I never put those other lemons away, so it's making it look like we farmed up a crazy amount. We did not farm up all these lemons. Not today. Yeah, I use Nimble Coat with every single one of my uh, healing builds. No matter no matter what abilities I run, I have Nimble Nimble with it. Missed the hundred the hundred meter splash was so strong, but it was such an underrated ability that no one really ran it that often, and I was running it quite a bit. And then all of a sudden, I started noticing a lot more people in OPR specifically running it, and I was just like, no, please don't run it. I don't want you to run this. I don't want them to nerf it. And then they nerfed it. It's like, dang it. They had it at 100 for the longest time. No one really used it often enough for them to notice it. And then all of a sudden, someone got the bright idea to start running it. And then they had to nerf it. But let's be honest, it was a pretty necessary nerf. 100 meters is just crazy. I think the 25 meters is a little bit too... I think it's too short to be honest at 25. I think I think 50 would be fine. It would heal almost 10k. Yeah, I mean you can heal upwards. I, I mean if, if they have let's say let's say they're a sword and shield with Ankh and then accelerated resolve. Like oh my gosh, the amount of healing like when when you hit a divine that hits for like 13 to 15k you know that that's exactly what they have. Like you can tell you can tell a sword and shield build and like what they're doing at times if you're healing them. It's it's ridiculous. And then yeah, the splash splash can like it, it's it's crazy. It is crazy. Yeah, I mean healing's always been so strong in New World. Um, and it's been nerfed very heavily, especially the self-healing and stuff. Which, like, again, Revitalizing Beacon used to be the strongest perk. Uh, it was... It was so stupid. It was absolutely ridiculous how much you could actually heal up. You just drop a beacon for yourself in a sacred and you were not going to die. Uh, time list. I'm, oh, we got three timeless shards here. Okay. Clean out the old inventory a little bit. Where is this world tour right now? Oh, recruitment's popping off right now. Be expensive to craft, craft an amulet with stam recovery and protection. Uh, I mean, I would just go with named amulets to be honest. Like, if you want a health divine, health divine stam recovery, you can just try to go farm life ring. It'd be really easy. You can still farm and then splash. That kept me in. Yeah, I'm usually I run. Um, Bile bomb as a healer, just because I you get your you get your heart rune back so fast 
that you just are constantly puking all over the point. But stone farm, obviously, from a survivability standpoint, is a lot better. Right, let's, uh, let's dump these. That. All these. Okay. Then. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dump all that. Need to drop off the PvP ones. Yeah, three scarabs. That's pretty solid. With no chest runs, too. Health, flame protection, and stamina recovery. Um, Let me look really quick. Let me check something really quick here. Uh... Amulet. Uh, health. What what attribute do you need, Taboo? Hello, Captain. Hello, hello. Position is always best and so far. That's good. Yeah, I mean, run whatever. I mean, if Stone Farmer is what's going to allow you to kind of play your play style, like, that's awesome. Han or whatever. Um. Let me see. Are there any that have... What's going on here? I'm just looking up uh, amulets really quick. There's none with flame protection at all. Oh, that has empowered on it, huh? Yeah. For crafting it, let's see. What has, I mean, health is probably what you're gonna wanna craft for it, to be honest. So let's see, Mithril Amulet. Yeah, I mean, health has a 14% chance. So you're gonna wanna make sure you, you craft for Stam Recovery and the Flame Protection. And then more than likely, you're either gonna get health or refreshing. Because you won't get you won't get the shirking dot cleanse. You won't get shirking debilitate. Uh, you sh there's a chance you could get empowered, but I think health or refreshing is what you get. I mean, the nice thing. I mean, I always roll the dice. The other thing, though, and again, tomorrow's video actually I go into a lot of this for anyone who's curious on looking into some of this stuff. Um, the other thing is check your server and just see if there's any exactly like that and then compare it to the cost of your craft. So let's check Marama and just see if there's anything out there. Let's just start with two perks. Or no, we'll check all three. We'll check all three. And then... Stam Recovery. So yeah, you're looking at 85k if you were on uh if you're on Marama. Yeah, I mean I run I run the thrust amulet. I actually crafted mine. I crafted mine at the beginning of the season and I haven't changed it since. So I go with thrust protection. But if you're looking for flame specifically, so then you could also use it for like um you know, swap it around to different builds for your like mutated dungeons and stuff, you could definitely go with that. Magnify next season though is gonna be better. So that's that's what you need to remember is magnify next season's different. You're gonna be able to lock it into your attribute. So it might not work literally for the next four days or whatever it is, 
but on Tuesday, there's a good chance that the magnify would work just fine unless you have like way too much. But like on Marama, like I'm saying, it's it's about 86k. So check your server and see. Cause you may like if you have the resources, you could also you could also charge someone and and uh do a I mean you could do a, a Azoth inductor craft for someone else. Charge them for the craft and then use that to buy something, you know. Daily Meow, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, is there actually a wall run? I keep seeing X wall. And I wanna do brimstone loot. People just Xing up for whatever. There's multiple X wall, whatever. We're going to wall. We're gonna go check it out. See if these people are yanking our chains or not. But yeah, next season, Magnify will be much more manageable to deal with. So, so definitely something to think about. No, so on Marama, um, people will X wall randomly and there might not be anything. So I don't trust people. Uh, not on Marama, at least. I've had too many times where people are trolling, and it's always X wall. It's always wall, like every time. <laughs> so I need to see more than like two people doing it for me to actually go over. Inductor's 85 prismatic. How much does that come out to on average? Like, I think on Marama, it's around 200, a little bit more than 200. So that's 17k. So yeah, you'd be better off crafting it. But again, every server is a little different. Block those who bait? I don't. That'd be way too many people to block. And then I know I'd start blocking people and then realize that they were actually telling the truth. So I have my ways of figuring it out now. AKA looking at chat and seeing if other people are Xing up. Because if enough people are Xing up, even if it's a troll, that means there's probably enough people that are going to show up to it. So. The troll then turns into a benefit for the server to get a chest run done. Sometimes. I didn't see anyone post about a chest run though, like a world tour, so that's why I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's gonna be anyone here. There's no one here. And this stuff hasn't been killed yet. But there's a lot of people Xing up. So I'm gonna wait here and see. See what I mean? Look how many different people are Xing up. So that's why I I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna wait. I'm not risking it. I know if I leave, then all of a sudden someone's going to say, hey, we have a uh, blah, blah, blah. Solo him. Yeah, I mean, I can throw on my Void Blade build and solo some, some of the areas pretty easily. I say that and then I die, but, you know, it is what it is. Never seen people do that? Yeah, it happens. It happens a lot. There's also a chance that they're at a different location. But like, this is a lot of people to all be in on the same troll. And they're from different factions and companies. So that's why I'm, I'm just hoping that if this is a troll, it turns into an actual chest run. So we're going to wait here. I'm gonna wait for a minute and see what happens because there was no announcement about it. Wait. ECR start at 01 wait. Oh. Start where? Yeah, I've been I've been doing a lot of solo Imperial runs. With my with my Voidblade Abyss build, it's been really fun soloing stuff because I'm running Blood Drinker with it, so it just allows me to just Sit there. I mean, like, I can't just sit there and forever just left click. Eventually, you know, I might get booped or something and die. So I still need to be careful, but it's really fun. It's really, really fun. And then if, like, 
I happen to have one other person with me, if they're healing, it's just I won't die. I soloed Capri once. That was fun. It was really, really, really sketch. I did that off stream. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. Oh, it wasn't. A, I guess it wasn't 100% solo, but anyone who was trying to join the fight kept dying. So it was essentially a solo, solo Capri. It's draining. Yeah, but it's fun. It is. I mean, like compared to obviously like a world tour or something. Yeah, it's 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 a lot more work, but there are days where sometimes you want the mindless, just collect your loot and move on. And there's other days where you want the challenge. So it's nice to have a build that's able to do it, though. Yeah, I mean, Spear would be a lot better route, but I'm having so much fun with Void Blade and, and Abyss. It's super fun. But yeah, ideally, ideally, the better bet is Spear. I would agree there. New Season Pass gives, gives players a variety of ways to earn new cosmetics, artifacts, and more. What? Rewards 1 through 10. Look, there's actually a wall ride happening, you guys. An actual wall run. Here, let me uh let me pull this up. Whoa, why is what? Hold on. Hold on. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, Skewer Skewer is super OP. Skewer's Skewer's crazy. Um, let's see. They're just going over some of the rewards, the free track, premium track. Okay. Shadow box emote. That's going to be sweet. That looks awesome. Do a little shadow boxing all around Brimstone. Nice. Um, Void Gauntlet skin. Kind of neat. Oh, they're like just straight up showing us all the rewards. Okay. Creed Boots Artifact. Neat. All right, let's just see what we get at the very end. Because we know I, I'm for sure getting the season pass. That's... What's that emote? What's that? Premium track. What's that emote? Celebration wave emote. Okay. A little celebratory one. Um, I want to see. What do we get at the very end? Oh, that's how... Is that how we get the Phoenix? Yeah, that's how you get the Phoenix amulet. No, that's level 80. So level 80, you get the Phoenix uh, amulet. Interesting. Bear skull mount attachment scan. See, that's the type of stuff that I'm excited for. Is like the mount attachment stuff and all that. That's going to be cool. Because I think they could definitely do more with like the attachments for mounts. And then what do we get at 100? Ow. Ow. What's going on? Why? I'm not. I'm still looking at this. What is that skin? Sorcerer's Den camp skin. Oh, that's a camp skin, huh? That's pretty neat. What's that? What is 95? Oh, it's a title. Guardian Hero. Okay. All right, well, I'll be I'll be buying it regardless, so uh definitely definitely something I'll be getting, but we'll see once it's uh, live. Take a look at it. Let's see how it is. All right. We're here for scarabs. Okay, wall helio cap. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna do imperial though. Because I think I might do imperial with uh 
the group later tonight. Maybe we'll see. Slap the door, everyone. What? Back in here. Did he? Oh, no, I still got my. I still got my grenade off, or my bomb, my sticky bomb. Ow. Fragile in this build. Kicked him out of that. Ow. It hurts. Can we not? Missed. I mean, mine, mines and merc are worth running. I mean, if you're doing merc anyways, you might as well do mines first. I don't, I don't get that. People don't want their chance at more hardened crystal. And you can still get armor's hat there, right? Trying to shot that. My bad. Yeah, that guy's not too... The the armor hat guy isn't too bad. It's just if, like, all the other ads start getting on you, that's when it gets to be annoying. Which I think that goes for a lot of the enemies. Like, if you don't have all the extra junk on you, it's fairly easy to solo with the right build. Obviously, not every build's going to work for that, but... A chance I play some arc this weekend or maybe not this weekend but next week I might play some arc just cuz if if there's a big if if wildcard actually gets scorched earth out I might play transfer my main over there we don't have anything on our uh, on our our official stuff cuz I, I let all that stuff decay I was getting tired of babysitting a base that we weren't even playing with, so I just stopped. I still have my character, so I might play some arc. If, if, <laughs> it, again, very, very big if they actually stick to it, but they've delayed, they've delayed Scorched Earth for the last year now. Pretty much, because they said we were going to get it at the start of ASA, and then they said we were going to get it, like, what, a month or two after, and then they just kept pushing it out. So, we'll see. But if Scorch Earth actually comes, that's going to be fun. Wyverns and all that stuff. I can't see.
What? Dang it. All right, scarabs, please. Please, game scarabs. They no scarabs. It's not what we needed. Yeah, uh, that was close to being decent. That's not. That ad just did not care. Just walked right by us. I think I'm up to 13 scarabs now, stockpiled. I need to, I need to see what the totems of nature are going for, cause I'm gonna buy a bunch of them if they're, uh, if they're cheap. I just, I have a feeling like those are gonna go up in price, just cause of the venom spear. But if venom spear gets nerfed like really heavily or something, then there's a chance that those aren't gonna go up in price a whole lot. I really should probably use an Azoth inductor and craft like a uh, a fire staff fire staff ring. I don't remember what I have at the moment. Yeah, I mean purifying heart is a good perk. It's just I have it on like everything, and I don't necessarily need it on everything. Ideally, I want hardy fire fire damage with burning. It's like the ultimate ring that I want. But for that, I think I'm gonna have to use an Azoth inductor. I don't think there's any named ring. Are there any named rings with fire damage and and or burning and or hardy? I guess I haven't looked. I should probably check before I spend you know that kind of money. But, yeah, 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 I should probably do that. So I was going to say, but I did get my Azoth inductors for free from the event, but I still don't necessarily want to waste those if I can get something for, you know, 15, 20k. And I'll save the Azoth inductor for something else. Event? Yeah, the rabbit event and stuff. Yeah, it should be... I don't know the exact date, but that, that should be Season 5 for sure. So if you haven't gotten your uh, rabbit storage chest, it'll be a good time to get it. I'll be getting another one, hopefully. Because they allowed us to get another one last season, so I've got two of them. I wrote the add to it though because I also had the rabbit hat last year, I think was new, right? Capri and Helio. 
Grab the last chest up here. We'll drop down. Grab those two. Recall. Had the Capri and Helio. Honestly, probably don't even need to run these, but yeah, we're here already. I just don't, I don't like trenchant abilities on a spear. That's why I like Venom's kind of nuts because they make it for both weapons. I foresee them making changes to Venom though eventually. Maybe not immediately, but. Capri, we go. Grab the extra chest outside. Go to Capri. Grab those. The sun is on its way down. I know. Sun's on its way up. Yeah, they'll do rabbit re rabbit's revenge. I think in the roadmap a while back they had that had that on the list. Yeah, the chest is sweet. Chess is very, very cool. The two main things were the chest and the, uh, the helmet skin. I don't remember what else they had. Well, they have the, the rabbit's feet, the luck food. They've done that as well. I just sell all that. Which I'm also waiting to see if Hot Pot keeps going up in price. It's been going up and then it drops a little bit, but then uh, it does kind of go up and down. I don't know. I kind of hope that they like maybe each each year they'll add like another piece. So maybe instead of helmet they'll do like chest piece or something i think that could be kind of cool make it so then there's like a full full fit or something full rabbit costume or something different i'm sure they'll have something new i just don't know what Those sun glyphs, those aren't super expensive, but they do kind of go up and down in price sometimes. Oh, lots of muskets. Loot biasing is working over, overtime today. I was half expecting to just pull a bunch of like great axes and great swords and just random stuff because I feel like that's a lot of times what I pull. Oh. We're going? They're not even up there yet. That's alright. I don't really care about getting credit for stuff. I have my full smelters kit now, so I don't I don't need to farm the name guys anymore. I guess if we pull the boots though, those are worth a decent amount. 
think the boots are the most expensive piece. But maybe we'll try to get credit, but not stress over it. Uh-oh. I'm skipping the little stuff. I don't care. It's just adamant. It's the only thing that these can really drop me. I'll grab this one. I just want to keep up with the group. I don't want to get stuck behind. I already killed this guy. I have aggro? Nice, there's an actual tank here. I like the... Warrior's Energy, 625. I mean, if I need a temporary, that's not terrible. I mean, that guy pulled an adamant. Adamants drop so much in price though Which I kind of figured that one would Because the chance of getting it on a You know, two perk craft is pretty high So Good work Stuck him. He's retreating though. They're all retreating because no one actually killed these. And they were just aggroed on the people standing on top of the chest. You know, if you guys don't hit this, I'm just gonna run over here and you're gonna get hit. I don't do much damage to ancients, not with this build. This is good, we're in the lead, so there's no slime. I spoke too soon. I have aggro of all these stupid things. Oh, there's a lot of people up here already. Bunch of slackers. Someone do the thing. Is the boss able to be summoned at the moment? I assume not if it's not being summoned right now. Oh, that guy's doing it. These guys are just, they just don't care. I mean, I'm gonna stay here and fight this guy. I just love how like no one's even choosing to come back and fight it. Oh no, some people are. I didn't get credit for the other one, that's alright. It's trying to laser me. I guess I'll get the loot now that all these people turned around to go do it. I should get credit. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't great, huh?
Ow. It's going for me. Just, just turn around and left click these things. <laughs> yeah. I'm just fine. I'll get the loot on the chest too. I can grab aggro this stuff and then I'll jump. Got aggro a good chunk of them. Refuse to res anyone here. Yep. I'll get some of these guys off of them. So all those people that rushed ahead ended up getting booped off the chest and I got in front of them. Whoops. Stand myself out, my bad. Castrum. To Castrum we go. Right, yeah, cast. Had to make sure. You never know, sometimes they might throw you off and go elsewhere. I'm not gonna worry about the elite chests here. I'm just gonna go straight to the straight to the chest run. So we'll get the brimstone loot out of the way, and then I I'm probably gonna do some OPRs and stuff. I don't think there's any mutateds that I really need to do. Yeah, I don't really have to do any of them right now. I should have farmed for the stopwatch uh, last week, but I just didn't. Last week was my first week back because I was, was out of town. That's right. I missed.
All right, I need to clear some space here. Six ninety nine gloves, but those are just all over the place. I don't think those are even worth selling, right? I don't think any of this stuff is worth it. I mean, I guess I, I could throw that up for cheap and just see if someone just wants to buy it cheap, but it's not worth a whole lot just because it's focus. Focus kind of kills it. Unless it was nature harness thing, then maybe, but even then. Even then, better if this was just int. This is the last of the chest run areas for me, at least for now. I think, we're, I think there's still a lot of people not here. He said go and no one's going. Those people are still getting loot. Like this, this person is not waiting for anyone, are they? I feel like our leader is a little bit of a loot goblin themselves. Charm. I don't know who has aggro here. And retreat. Like hesitating. It doesn't know what to do. I don't want to farm the stupid hound. Provisions here. Provisions and brimstone are not great. I mean, you might be able to get the desert sunrise uh, recipe, but that's. Fun. Spear of the Ranger. A lot of people that just died right here. How did they all die so easily? Are they trying to loot. 
don't know. I don't know which one's hitting me right now. People who already got the loot should just aggro that stuff and kill it, or just aggro it. I don't really care. Or someone did. Any large storage commands? Like which one? Like outside of outside of getting the golden steel storage chest, which is just ridiculously expensive to buy the schematic. Uh, the, the highest you can get is the Dynasty or the Hope Storage Chest. But the Golden Steel is super, super, super rare. It's a very, very rare schematic. Um, and honestly, if you're gonna buy, if you're gonna buy your storage chest, uh, just buy the Cursed or the Polished Marble. They're technically, they technically can carry more than the Golden Steel. Just barely. And they look cooler. So if you can afford to get those, uh, that's a better better option as far as just getting more storage. Because you can't craft those. You have to either buy them or pull them. So anytime if I'm going to buy a storage chest, it'll be one of those. Yeah, so the polished marble and the cursed, you can just pull from like stockpiles and stuff. They're they're really rare to get. I've pulled quite a few of them. Like I haven't pulled enough for all my houses, but I've pulled a decent amount of them. Um, but that's the only way to get them. If you have Twitch Prime, you're able to. They've given them out before for free. Not very often though. I think only once. Did they do a uh, prime prime loot for that? Whatever, no one's fighting these things. I'm gonna say it's just gonna spawn these in, and I'm gonna get stuck fighting them. I'll throw a nade down there. Yeah, I would check. I would check the polished marble and the cursed and see if they happen to be uh, affordable. If they're around the same cost as the golden steel, then you're actually just better off buying those anyways. More storage. Actually, got credit for that. All right. Yeah, so ra the rabbit storage chest is the same size as the polished and the cursed. So it, it technically is bigger than the uh, golden steel. Unless they change that. There's always a chance that they change that stuff. But in general, they've always had that be the most expensive, or the most storage. All right. I don't know where the archer is that's hitting me. This chest run's been fine. I think I think the leader's more of a loot goblin than uh <laughs> than you think. They say kill all mobs, but then they started before everyone was ready and stuff and yeah. But it's going much smoother than some runs I've been on. Some cast room runs especially have just been terrible. So this one's still not bad. Just remember, do not jump, just run off the edge. Do not jump, run off the edge. Just line yourself up, just walk off. I 
I should check the prices on those storage boxes on Marama though. I haven't, I haven't looked in a really long time, so I have no idea what they're going for. But I do know that there's a schematic for the Golden Seal storage chest on Marama for like 330,000 or something like that. So that's where like for me, I'm like, do I, if I end up pulling it someday, do I keep that for myself and just like learn it? Or do I sell it and just take the payday? So there's not, it's not like crazy profit to craft them to sell. Okay, everyone's up here for some reason and that guy's down there. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that schematic's always been like pretty much the most expensive schematic consistently. There's maybe been times where some of the other ones have been a little bit more expensive. Where the heck is the named guy? He's down here. Everyone's just up here getting loot. I thought he was going to run back up, then everyone started fighting him down here. But if you want the Golden Steel Storage Chest, I highly recommend just like running Imperial every single day. There's a ton of elite chests there, a ton of stockpiles. I think they did open up the range though. I thought in the past they had opened up the range of where it can drop, but that also might be incorrect. Cause it used to be only Imperial really that you could get it from my understanding, but not 100% positive on that. But I know that you for sure can pull it there, so. And you have your chance at the uh, goldfish bowl, which if you pull the goldfish bowl, if you don't want to keep it, you'll get over gold cap for it. I've seen one person pull it in a chest run I've been in, and I've seen multiple be sold. I think one sold for like 750k, and the other one sold for over a million, so kind of nuts old fish bowl is what everyone wants when it comes to rare loot Yeah, if I ever pull it, I'm keeping it. I'm not selling that. I will I will for sure keep it for myself. It's too too rare for me to sell it. And I already have plans for a house for it, so. Alright. We completed the chest run as far as I wanted to run it. Uh, the trenchant just kills it for me. I don't like the trenchant being on there. You'd sell for sure. Well, you'd have a nice little payday. No, I'd keep it. I like I like loot so much that it'd be wrong of me to sell the most rare loot item in the game. I've told myself for a very long time I would never sell it if I pulled one, so I'm sticking to it. This isn't bad, but... Trenchant Strikes just, yeah, it really, really kills it for me. Alright, I'm going to fast travel back to town. I need to run to the bathroom quick, so I will be right back.
right. I think it's time. I think it's time to do OPRs and we're gonna farm lemons and sugar in between. That's the plan. We're going to pull a hardened crystal today. Oh, we have we have ads in five minutes on Twitch, just a heads up. Ads on Twitch. In five minutes, we're gonna let that We'll wait to do the first OPR until after that. Okay, so we got about five to 10 minutes before OPR. Should be enough time for me to get some lemon farming. Then during the ad break, everyone can get drinks, run to the bathroom, anything like that. Then we'll hop into some OPRs. This is gonna be a good lemon run, I can feel it. This is going to be the lemon run. I'm not going to throw out any numbers. I'm just, it's it's going to be good though. Maybe a hardened crystal. Maybe the lemons will be terrible, but the hardened crystal will be abundant. Maybe we'll pull two hardened crystal out of the same chest. I don't think that's asking for much. Heart and crystal yet. I'm feeling it though. It's gonna happen. If not here, then maybe on the lemon run. But I feel like it's gonna happen in Weir's Fen. This one doesn't have anything in it. I'm starting to remember now. Yeah, it can it can drop in uh, in Weaver's Fen. It is one of the territories that you can technically pull it. Weaver's Fen and Evanscale both can drop hardened crystals, so that's why doing sugar and lemon runs are actually really good. Just increase your chance of getting that. I'd say uh, two best territories. If like you, if you're specifically farming for hardened crystal, I'd probably just alternate between Shattered Mountain and uh, Evan Scale. I think that's what I would do if that's specifically what I'm farming. But since I need lemons and sugar and all that stuff, uh, I'm gonna do Weaver's Fen as well. There's really good, really good looting in, in Shattered that you can do solo. I didn't do this house. Walk back. We're still hitting pretty hard even without ammo on. No ammo, we're not running our full amount of decks, and no honing stone, so. Still good damage. Come on, lemons. Four lemons, that's that's not good. All right, ads are starting here. I'm just gonna run them now, a little, a little early, a minute early. Enjoy the ads. Oh. Uh, I'll take the cranberries, I guess. one is the other one okay so the first house in both those areas those are the ones i can skip oh, 
Coconuts, no sugar. Okay, maybe the sugar run's not gonna be great. Maybe not. Wait, why does it say ads starting in five minutes? Oh, it's because I snoozed them. Hold on. I snoozed the ads. I didn't run them. There, now I'm running them. Is that gonna fight itself? No, there we go. Okay. <laughs> My bad. I clicked the wrong button. Oh, it ducked. Or bent down to tie its shoe or something. Harden crystal. Nope. Nope. No harden crystal. Lemons. Dang it. Harden Crystal. Nope. Thought for sure that was the one. It's this stockpile, this one has the Harden Crystal in it. See right there. Spear the Ranger, that's what I was looking for. I haven't pulled an adamant in a while either. Given, well, no, I've been doing a decent amount of brim loot. That's where I've pulled the majority of my adamants. Missed. I was still walking while I was shooting. Alright, I think we're I think we're out of the ads. The ads have, have come and gone. Alright. We'll queue up. Why not? Why not? We'll see how the musket's going for me today. There are definitely days where I just don't play musket because my aims are just terrible or something, so. We shall see how it goes. Dilbert's on the other team. Wait, Dilbert's back on our server. He must have been on Octans before. That and that.
All right, team, let's do it. Let's, uh, I'm gonna shoot at them, and the melees are gonna finish them. I'm just gonna distract them, get them to dodge a couple times. Okay, I got my two shots off. Time to go on to the point. Oh, yeah, we'll go up here. I wouldn't. Not how I thought I was going to. Team, they're gonna they're gonna come back, but I'll keep pushing. That guy might be going for a back cap instead. I oh, know he's staying on the point. He just stood there and died. He didn't he didn't want anything to do with it. Had to go for it. The heck was that? Did that just put me in my inventory or something for a sec? I mean, with, with one pushing me like that, there's not a whole lot I can do. Our team is overextending pretty bad, aren't they? Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. I do not know what they're doing overextending. That's... Why are there three of them over there? I don't... I don't understand that. Our team's getting sun, so I guess we just distract. We'll see what happens. There's at least three of them though, which is not good for me. Not when I'm trying to cap the point. Okay, there's two of us now, that helps. Yeah, I got CC'd. Got CC'd there. I'm sorry, our team will clean, her, clean them up. So, that's fine. I probably should have gone up top once our teammate got there. I didn't need to be standing on the point there, did I? Alright, let's, let's regroup with the team here. Yeah, we'll, we'll regroup with the team. Hello, Frosty. Hello, hello. Hey, 
Hey, good call. Good point. I do this half the time when I play musket. As I PvE without bullets. But you know what? Sometimes I just need to nerf myself. I'm just too strong, okay? Hey, that's, that's so much better. But you know what? It's just not really fair to them, is it? You know? <laughs> I don't normally shoot the tank, but... In this situation, I had to. Oh, he blocked that. He got in here. See, that's the range where my shots get to be a little, little iffy. There's a certain range that I hit where it's just like, all right. If we actually stick with the team, I might switch to Pestilence. I do actually love Pestilence with this build. Let's, uh, eh, yeah, let's do it. Let's go Pestilence. We'll go anti heals. I just can't, I, like, I'm not great at 1v1ing with a musket to begin with, but especially not with Pestilence. He jumped all the way off. Left or right? I don't know. I'm gonna fall back and help his son. I can't be sitting in these situations where if I get pushed, I'm I'm a goner. Help that guy. Make sure. Wait, where is our team? Okay, I thought they were all on sun. I'll just rotate. I'm running Pestilence is definitely best if I stick with the team. I'm pretty sure I was shooting at our teammates. Let's go. A goner. Oh, that was a little flick shot. I'll admit, that was like 80% luck. Oh, he went the wrong way. The dodges, though. I don't always need to hit them, I just need them to waste their stamina. I just need to intimidate them with my shots. So they think they have to use stam when in reality I'm gonna miss like 60% of my shots anyways. And a hit. Is it just a healer? Or is it a fire staff? Either way they didn't get it. There's a healer. Yeah. I didn't really want to deal with that. I'm not chasing. I'll go Baron. I don't think I'm doing a whole lot this match. I don't really have to. I'm just kind of like doing their thing.
always do that with musket. I'll sit there and just wait. Because if someone tries to come in and steal it, then at least I'm ready to go. Service this? Uh, well, technically I'm on USC Smarama. I have a an alt over on uh, EU, over on Nissa or Nisa, whatever it is. So a couple different characters that I'll play. I was going to say, that healer is diseased for sure. I don't know, I've got multiple range shooting at me right now. Gilbert, we're both missing, okay? You want me to change? Nah, I'm good. Where the heck did Dilbert go? There he is. He, he's just rotating right now. Dilbert, now I'm gonna chase you with my blunderbuss. I thought he was still going to be running. Um, let's see. Sorry, Dilbert. Oh! Yeah, that guy's just gonna go into the point. Ow! Oh, there's a lot of them coming down the road right now, isn't there? Ow! I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that fire staff's gonna get me if anything. <laughs> Another meatball behind them. I should have backed up way before then. I didn't realize that our team was just like this very slowly dying until it was too late. The extra extra dots with pestilence is super nice. Kind of with whatever whatever range you run, you know.
this person doing? Someone's shooting at me. I don't really want that brute to come after me like that. Please don't. I'm getting shot at while the brute's on me. That's not fair. It's cheating. too far forward just because of this fire staff yeah i didn't want to push forward that fire staff would have messed me up Let's get to the next area and then I'll queue up again. that I have on this. Are those con? I should just use those for my uh, healing build if I go if I go void healing. I don't do that often. I'm not. I, I don't know. I get a little bit bored with void gauntlet healing and OPRs. But, I mean, it's a really good secondary. Especially if you have putrefying scream and can actually help with some of the fights, but I don't know. I prefer other weapons usually. And the rare occurrence that I do run that, probably worth it. I'll use a little bit of the good ammo for now. Maple end table schematic. Four lemons. Yeah, this lemon run is not not looking great. We need to hope that we get really lucky on the stockpile over here. Dang it. I was hoping I'd hit that one as well. Four. It's awful. Provisions crate over here. Let's 
six. Well, it ended up not being the worst lemon run. It was not great, but it definitely could have been worse. I'll take it. Like last night we ran one and literally only two provisions chests gave me lemons. It's awful. But then I've had other times where I get way more. So it just depends. It just depends. We'll see how this one goes. Yeah, I'm on my main. I don't I don't have my musket build put together yet on my EU character. But my next my next EU build will be my invasion build and hopefully that'll transfer over. I'm gonna try to get as many of the armor pieces to work for both as possible, but currently I've got it with pestilence, yeah. Try to go with more utility for the team rather than just straight damage output. I mean, the damage output's still great. Alright, someone got that guy. Lucky I didn't have my dodge reload on that. Sorry, Manny. <laughs> I didn't know you were in here. I didn't know he was in this match at all. That's hilarious. I just messed up his combo. up top now. Oh, I fell. I can't, I don't want to drop on that. That was just bad. Ooh, I shot too low on that. I mean, they back comped us immediately, which kind of sucks, or they're trying to, so that really sucks, but we'll just keep pushing with the team. Because again, I'm most valuable with the team. I just need to keep pushing. Yeah, 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 there's a lot of them behind me. If I stay, I'm gonna die.
Medium armor is not easy to break through, is it? Coming for you, Manny. Dodge the net. He's dodging. I'm missing. I'm forcing dodges. Gonna die to six, yeah. Nice. Good work. There's guys someone out somewhere out there. That was that was not even close. Uh, I think there's someone rotating around. Yeah, we need to, we need to rotate back to this team. What? How did my flash shot hit him, but not hit him? Unless it was my dots making it seem like I uh, got the hit. Alright, team, we need to probably push this guy. I got, got absolutely destroyed. Okay. Their muskets down. What's going on behind us for right now? Boom. Second shot would have hit him too. It was a good dodge. Oh, I twitched. I twitched there for just a sec.
<laughs> Quit distracting me, Manny. Uh-oh. This isn't good, is it? Team, we need to back up. We're overstaying our welcome here. Baron. Good Baron. The other team didn't even make it here. They had one guy going and me and the other musket were shooting him. Is that Manny? I bet that's him. He's one of the few that will actually like make sure to go Baron typically. I went the wrong way. That was, that was my bad. Are they not gonna actually chase me? I was such a free kill there. Only one of them chased. Yeah, I was I was a really easy kill there. I think that guy's going for, uh... He's going for the, uh, Brute. Missing a lot. Uh, stay away from me, Matty. No. <laughs> I thought we were going to have more people coming down the road. I should have just backed up, just fully disengaged. was my own stupidity that got me killed there but on the very 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 slim chance that that was gonna be an amazing play it was worth it I don't regret it they're on moon uh theme You just go sun, I guess, right? I think that's the play.
Uh, I need to back up. I'm kind of in a weird position right now. Alright. Oh, I got them. I thought they were in the door. Dots. I don't really know where to go. Team, we need to try to take something. I can't I can't take doors out though. I do not have a good build for that at all. I'll go pestilence. Team, this isn't good. I don't know what's going on. We're almost through. His, his hatchet didn't save him. Alright team, we need you to leave spawn. And just go cap something. Group is putting in the effort. There's so many of them here. Where's her team at? <laughs> Uh, our team's throwing this game away. That's what's happening. All they had to do was leave leave our spawn. That's all they had to do. It's a throw. Unless that push was enough. I, I mean, I guess our team left the outpost, but look how far off we are now. That's crazy. Our team just threw it. Ay ay ay. That was that was one that we should not have lost. Or at least it should have been much closer. But I don't I don't know why our team chose to say, sit and spawn when we were capping sun. They should have just pushed out the side and tried to go and push our spawn. Take that and then we're good to go. But, that's not what happened. Alright, let me, uh, let me recall before we queue up or anything. We'll go do... Probably go do a, uh... Sugar run, right? Since I sold a bunch, might as well stockpile more. Price goes up, we'll sell again, otherwise I'll hold on to them for crafting.
Sayo, hello, hello. How have you been? Stick you, huh? We'll see how this goes. A little backfill action here. Oh man, he's on my team this time. He's in my group. Nice. Actually, I need to check with my dad really quick and see if he needs us to go over there. He's out of town right now. So, I'll do it after this match. I need to check with him and see if he needs me to check on his snakes and stuff. Because he's got eggs incubating and all that. I need to check on him. Easter break time, nice. Working from home from today till next, or till Monday, nice. That's awesome. That makes for a, a nice weekend then. Get off of my outpost. It's like I died. I wasn't expecting that shrapnel blast. Pooped him backwards. Missed, but they got him. Team effort. I helped. You at least are smart. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's like perfect timing for you, huh? Chase him running around. I refuse. We have the triple. Take a couple pop shots, so we'll just rotate around. That's fine. That is fine. Season five next week as well. How did I miss that first shot? What the heck was that? Okay. I'm distracting them. I may not be killing them, but I'm uh, definitely distracting. Yeah, heal though. I'll be, I'll be just fine and dandy. It's around. I got my, my flatbread. Yeah, we're getting back capped here. Where did that guy go? He just turned back around instead of going to the sun. What? Strange.
I would be turned back. Oh, I shouldn't have powdered it up there. That was a mistake. It was a mistake. Don't kill me for it. I don't deserve it. I should have hit my regen pot instead of my, my health pot. Where's our team at? Oh, we're on both other outposts. Time to oh I don't have much time left on my dex food. It'll be a good time to switch it up. We'll go back to uh we'll go back to Void Abyss. I've been having so much fun with that build. I'm just gonna keep running it. But it had been a while since I played musket, so that was a blind shot and that stupid banana leaf was in my way. Probably would have missed anyways, but have so many here what oh it's because like i'm just getting not lucky on which outpost i should be at cannon blasted and then I should have potted but I was stuck in the reload I was stuck in reload with no uh yeah I was stuck in reload with no with no stam that's just a recipe for death I mean if we're not gonna play as grouped up I might switch off and just go uh spear Trouble is, like, we're still fighting off to the side here. We need to try to fight on the point. It went right. Oof. Has never seen moves like this. The mobility. Look at this. Guys, we're we're losing a lot here. But we're we're losing a good amount. I mean we still have a lead, but we got our our cushion room for our points is slowly diminishing. Yeah, I mean, uh, blunder is obviously fine. Oh my gosh, blunder is fine, but it's so much better like with a group, like with uh, team fights and stuff. Uh-oh. There's a way more of them right there than I thought. We're fine. Team's right here. Uh, I shouldn't be doing this, because I didn't I had no idea how close they were to me. Alright, are we are we grouping up here?
Okay, that was a swing and a miss. Yeah, uh, Baron actually is going to be really important here, isn't it? What's going on down there? Yeah, uh, we, uh, we're, we're kind of... Kind of throwing this one, aren't we? Stupid bamboo. Manny died way over there. What is happening? And they have a brew. Yeah, this is just this is uh, <laughs> interesting OPR. Oh my gosh. Um. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, he popped his stone form. Thank you, Manny. Trying to kill this then. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't I don't like this. Oh, I have aggro of the brute? Please don't tell me it's gonna be one of those. Yeah, I don't really know where to go at this point. We just need more teammates here. There's a lot of them chasing me now. I I don't know where to go. Are we trying to back cap? I need to check my map. Yeah, we're trying to back cap them, so we're gonna lose this team fight every time. I think we actually win the team fights. That's the thing. Is is we won the initial team fights, so I think. We're actually better off going for the team fights. Ooh, that was a good uh, Dark Ascent. Uh, and then they're just in the back door, anyways. And then a blunderbuss showed up. Did I get the grenade off? I don't think I did. All right, team. I, I I honestly think we win the team fights if we if we're grouped up, but we're so stuck on trying to back cap because we won the initial team fights, but we haven't really been grouped up since. Go next while we have. Oh, go next angle. Wait, what? We win team fights, but look how spread out we are. So we have seven total, eight total players. We have half our team on the other parts of the map. So like winning these team fights is just like insanely hard unless they can maintain that many enemies to stay back for them. I took that burn off of him. Surprised I hit that. So he had dots on him. I didn't think he was going to get away. He's, he's trying to serpentine here. Oh, 
Oh oh. Uh oh uh oh I'm getting PVE'd! <laughs> I accidentally shot the stupid brute. It's not my fault. Gosh dang it. Uh oh. Thank you. I don't want to put Pestilence back on if we're going to fight like this. Please let me through. We do have ads on Twitch starting in like a minute and a half, which I can, uh, I can delay those slightly. I was hoping that spear was just going to get someone. Ow. Put his trust in me to kill that guy, and he got out of that CC a lot faster than I was anticipating. I think he had dots or something that kicked him out of it, I'm not sure exactly. I'll go up top. Hit him right before that entomb. That was actually crazy timing. Not on purpose, just... Dang it. My, my leading him shots is so off right now. Can't they just sit still?
Yeah, we got ads over on Twitch just for a little bit here. Forgot to delay them, my bad. Yeah, when you go Baron. It's our only shot. Well, it's not our only shot, but if they get it, it's not looking good for us. Really glad that that wasn't bugged out. Alright, I need to play this smart. I need to try really hard to not die. I died, but I got a kill. I traded. I should have just gone out the back and just waited, but I, I don't like doing that. But, if we don't have enough people there, it's gonna be rough. I don't know if we'll get this Baron. So I have a decent amount there to potentially steal it. I think Manny just died of dots. His health was very slowly going down. But we didn't lose Sun. Come on, guy, keep going. You're a musket. We need the muskets there to steal it. Fire stuff shooting me from the back. I should have just maybe rotated to the right side, but we just don't have we don't have enough teammates going to it right now. I mean they're on their way, but I think it's too late. Um that was not good. That was not good at all. We were we were just kind of funneling in there or trickling in there, I should say. But if we called the two cap. That was the last Baron, so if we hold the two, we have a shot. Also, I just realized I don't have all my consumables, but I'm not going to re re up them right now. Hello? Uh, a game? It didn't show me the E at first. I had plenty of time. Gosh dang it. And the second time, it, it, it I got hit. The first time when I initially ran to the door, I couldn't get the E to pop up. Unfortunate. Yeah, I'm not doing good this match. This is not, not one of my highlight reels, that's for sure. Uh... Put this back on for this fight. Okay, they both ran. Okay, 
Okay, I fell. You gotta be really careful here. That was such a long shot. Dodge out of that. It's fine. We just need to maintain two. We don't we don't need the pressure further up right now. Can't see through there. in the top <laughs> I think we're losing because we're literally overextending trying to go and take moon I mean if we send like one or two people it's probably fine but I think we've been having a few too many troop pushing and then we're down holy kegs guy speaking of kegs well it's too late Nine minutes on my duck's food. Everything else has ran out. We're working off bare minimum here. I need to I need to just kind of go over to Sun here and help out. I think it killed that guy, but it was going to if he walked forward more. Yeah, I mean, we need to fight on the point. <laughs> you guys were trash. <laughs> Classic. I mean, we we have to take it. There's there's no if and or buts. That was like super super delayed on getting that stupid thing out. Shoot that guy way out there. Oh, that door might have just gotten our team killed, but okay. I think we keep this because of the doors.
GG, I guess. I did bad. I did not do very good. But our team pulled through at the end. That was way closer than it should have been, but we did it. I had a terrible match, but that's okay. I need to go to the bathroom really bad, so we're going to load in here, make sure I'm not going to die immediately, which I shouldn't. I think we're just on our way to the sugar spot. Then when I get back, I'm going to respec and stuff, so I will be right back. Back. I had a message from my dad as well. See if he needs us to run over there and check on snakes. Snakes, snakes. All right. Since consumables are up, let's switch back because I want to keep playing that build. And I don't know how this build's gonna do next season. So enjoy it while I can. I'm just worried that the, like the damage nerf to medium might make this build worse in some ways, but at the same time, like there's also benefits. So I don't know. We'll see. Tough work already. Not for really two days in a row now. That's kind of nice. Because I had like two or three days that were really long in a row. So, beginning of the week was long work days, end of the week is short work days. So, that worked out really well for her. Oh. 
Well, let's hope the sugar runs better. I didn't do the extended run. I didn't feel like doing the lower area. Never did my faction quest today either. Eh, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. You can do that after stream or something. It's not a huge deal. Ooh, 19 sugar from that one. That's crazy. I pulled more sugar out of that one stockpile than I did lemons on the whole run. Crazy. Honestly, I'm just gonna skip this. I don't even care about the. I don't care about the alchemy. these chests and then I'll queue in. Here, just make sure I don't spawn into that junk again. take consumables while we're running otherwise I'm gonna fall behind right away I'd like to be there at the start of this fight that 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 and that Look at all those titles. Pretty fancy. Trying to pressure their heels here. Let's 
See, that's where the purifying heart actually would have been really huge. Yeah, I was gonna die there. See, purifying heart probably would have allowed me to get away from that. At least if I hadn't turned and, you know, tried to fight still. But, like, the burns and everything were still on me. So I, I actually might switch my my ring to that. I know it's not cheap, but... Dang it! We just like don't have anyone here. I tried to get that scream out, but I died. They have a lot of healers. Hopefully our like muskets and stuff can focus them because it's really hard for me to focus on them. I mean it's fine if they want to they want to get stuck on me, you know what I mean? Still maintaining this, and we're actually capping them on sun. They just, they have so many healers. Like, I don't really know which one to focus. It's like, please, that guy has to die. There we go. Alright, we need to go sun. That's crazy. I think our PVEers are doing great. Coming. I'm assuming there's a lot of them on sun right now. I need to start landing some heavy attacks here. There's a huge scream. We need to work our void cooldowns back.
Oh, that was so delayed. Our healers are doing great, though. Hit him with the ranged. I'm not good with Void Gauntlet range. Like, I'm not the worst, but I definitely could use some practice. Like, the range heavy attacks can heal you for so much with Void. gonna try to single people out there. I'm just gonna kind of wait and try to peel for whoever he gets. We have teammates on star as well. We had teammates? Have them? Had them? I think I was shooting too high. I think he was laying down. grit if he didn't have that grit he didn't have the grit i maybe survived but oh they had a lot more showing up still okay i was dead either way then that's okay i can accept that a baron that's a really good point this has been really good fights so i wasn't paying attention Person calling Baron's not at Baron though. Unless they die. Oh, they're on their way now. Like they're deaf. What? Questioning what people are doing at mid. They weren't even there. Come on now. Their team primarily is on Sun or still fighting over there, which is good. I should leave hardy meals on, but I want I want my keg. Throwing the old keg on slot six.
Oh, my life steal. I didn't have the heals immediately. I just work. I just work my disease. Yeah, I think I just don't even worry about the healer in that situation. We had enough DPS to. Oh, I got him with that. I kept him from leaving, and then we kept it. Yeah, let's go. He ran into the same thing that I ran into, where I'm sure he ran to the door, it wasn't saying E on it, or whatever. Where, where is the fight happening here? I need them to push in though, team. Ah. Yeah, I, th I think I'm gonna switch that ring over. And it's kind of fine if they just want to stay up there. They're not doing enough for their team right now, you know? So we'll just leave them. I mean, they're trying to poison or uh, disease us, but our team is actually like doing a lot of damage and they don't have as strong of a front line. And we can probably push now. Sorry, Turtle 2. <laughs> I know Turtle 2 pops in every so often. Okay. I mean, I don't really care if they sit up top like that. It's during the team fights then we want to handle them, but if they just want to sit up there, that's fine. I have no problem with it. Switch.
Someone died. Yeah. We were just, we were losing too many. I should have just backed off. Backed off, try to get some heavies, heal up a little bit, and then just regroup. We'll just regroup at the outpost. I mean, we don't need to clear top if they're not causing the issues. I mean, we need to win the frontline push as well if we start splitting our melees up too much. Send the mages up there to disturb them. Mages can just apply the AoEs and just force them to essentially not... not hit our healers, you know? Just fall back and hopefully, hopefully they, we can get some people that will uh, rotate around the sun. Looks like we got at least one. I'm gonna drop off and go that way. And there's quite a few of them that are. Backing up here. They got me right at the end of my my light attack combo. There's a lot of them that stayed back. Hopefully it means that we won't lose our point. I was just hoping more people were going to rotate. It was just a couple of us. We got kegs at Baron it looks like. What'd you miss? Ah, uh, not too much. Did some loot runs today, just doing some OPRs, old PvP. I have so many healers though. Looks like that person needs a different healing build. However much they want us to push into this, we just can't. We need someone on their backside getting on their healers. Or we need some pestilence. This person's been complaining the whole game. to our kegs at Baron. Our healer, whoever put that sacred down, I think they were diseased on top of me being diseased. Wait. 
Quit. What? what? I was going to say, there's no way that guy survives that, right? Uh oh, they're kind of like kegs. I got tripped there. Our team's out fighting the brew. And the brute retreated, so... Whatever efforts they made are long gone now. Okay, we need... Yeah. We need heals on the point, though. <laughs> Toss a sacred up there, I'll find it. But I need it past the doorway. I need it on the point. All you gotta do is unlock your uh, target lock with it and just throw it up there and the melees will find their way to it, hopefully. Okay, once they finally kill the brute, then I think we'll be able to go for it. Yeah, this person is not happy with the team. They've got their healer with them. Let's just try to push in, I guess. Yeah. I mean, we just don't have the people there. We do not have the people there. Our team was split up between the, the brute and the, the team fight at the end there. It actually screwed us over. But yes, our team probably is avoiding helping you because you're complaining about everyone. <laughs> you're a healer, expect that you're going to get aggro from people and PV. It's just the way it is. That is the healer life. You're a tank without being a tank. Ah, I fell off the stupid top. <laughs> Come on, 
Oh, we landed an execute, so I'll take it. Yeah, he's just gonna keep running around the point. I'm best off just leaving him. Trying to block for you, guy. I tried to block. fight. Can't see. Our team, did we lose everyone again? Or like, what's going on here? I don't, I don't get that. It seemed like we were starting to win the point, and that just our team is is gone. Are they outside the point, just standing there? Yeah, they're all outside. We had two muskets sitting outside. You just have to get in and get up top. There's definitely the space to get in. But I think they're pushing backline instead of just like going around them and onto the point we're staying back and trying to fight that. And it's like you just have to go around them and go in. Just ignore them as best you can. Yeah, I don't know with that one. That was uh, that was just kind of a passive team, I guess. I don't know. But I think we would have won a lot more fights if we just were all on the point. But with the backline disturbance, it's just like, can't do a whole lot. Backline sometimes needs to fend for themselves. That's why, as a healer, I like to run, you know, CC and all that. Let's finish up this, uh, this sugar run then. All the way to the top here.
Yeah, I'm really thinking that I'm going to switch that over to Purifying Heart. There's just too many times where it's just like the Purifying Heart would have been really, really nice. And then I might still use Stone Form, otherwise I might go back to using the uh, uh, Bio Bomb, just because Bio Bomb is so helpful for disease and stuff. I need to call my dad after stream. He's not responding to me, so I'm assuming he's driving. I'm not currently positive what the plan is. I'm assuming he'll say tonight would be great otherwise tomorrow it just depends if the snakes pooped in their water then sooner than later obviously but the, ad the adult snakes aren't his concern because they like never do it's the the babies and then whether we go over today tomorrow or not until saturday then i need to check eggs as well so i just need to remember that If we have to go, I'd like to go sooner than later, though, so I'll call him after stream and figure out what the plan is. I was hoping he would have just told me, but I don't know if he reached out to my mom or brother. It'd be a lot easier if they just could just check. They don't have to do it, but just check so I know if I'm kind of wasting my time going over there or not. Because if they're fine, I'd rather wait until Saturday. All right, I'm going to recall, and I think I'm going to wrap up stream right there for the day. Just because, like I said, I have to call my dad, see if he needs some help with stuff, because he's out of town. Currently on his way home, but he won't be back until probably Saturday or Sunday. I don't know, he might not be back till Sunday. It's going to take them probably two full days at least to get there, or to get here, so I don't know. All right, well, we are going to call stream there. It's still four hours for just kind of a random day to stream. I don't always stream on Thursdays, but uh, I got most of my video stuff that I wanted to get done. So uh, I'll do my editing and stuff later, but that is going to do it for today. I should be live tomorrow unless something comes up, which I don't foresee that happening. Um, but yeah, so thank you very much to everyone who is hanging out, all the follows and subs and all that fun stuff. And I will see everyone tomorrow for Friday. So have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow.